Good morning, grade 6. Welcome to our values education class. So today, our lesson is all about I improve myself holistically. Self-improvement is a lifelong process that entails sacrifices, strong determination, perseverance, hard work, and self-control confidence and discipline before a person can fully achieve a well-balanced and wholesome personality. So, to acquire a wholesome or well-balanced personality, a person must first strive to live the right values in his or her day-to-day -day life. That includes achieving success in all areas of life, be productive, not reactive. Learn from the lesson of life or own experiences. Have an optimistic disposition. Acknowledge your giftedness or your own talent. Be perfect as God wants all of us to be perfect. Alright? Another is strive to develop a positive outlook in life. Number one, be optimistic or be positive. Face your fears and overcome them. Always think that the present time is better than yesterday and tomorrow will be better than today. Associate yourself with positive people. Always keep the company of people who are positive about themselves and have positive outlook in life. Number four, look at what you already achieved. Spend time enjoying your achievements and success that you already had. Think about your strength. Maximize your strength and minimize your weaknesses. And lastly, maintain a healthy mind and body by thinking positive and erase negativity in life. Okay? Lastly, is to strive to acquire the qualities of a self-confident person. First, they are in control in their lives. They are not afraid to take risks because they know they are in control of their own lives. So, do not be afraid in taking risks. Alright? They never rush. Means they are always calm. They do not easily get discouraged. So despite of many challenges in their lives, they stay focused on their goals in life. They are, they are adaptable and flexible. So they can easily cope and adjust with many changes happening in everyday life. Their vision is cast well into the future. They are willing to go to a road less traveled by. And... They are resourceful and creative. Okay, so these are the three steps to acquire a wholesome or well-balanced personality that a person must have. Okay, so God provides all people with gifts and human resources to enrich themselves so that they may become useful members of the family and productive members of the society. We have dreams in life which we strive and hope to accomplish. Having a goal encourages and motivates us to pursue our dreams despite many challenges, difficulties, and disappointments we encounter in our, our life. So, we need a plan that will provide us a clear idea on how to go about attaining it, right? So, having a plan is very important and focus in our goal in life. We have list of steps that will help us achieve our goal in life. Number one, pick one goal. So this is very important. Means you have to focus on your first goal one at a time. Do not rush. Once it has been accomplished and established, you can jump and start to your next goal. Okay, make sure you focus and you finish your first goal. You establish it, you accomplish it, then you can go to your second goal in life. Two, 
Start small and easy. Best way to succeed with our first goal is to pick something um, we are already doing. Okay? Three, simplify. Make it simple by choosing a small, specific goal. It doesn't need to be big goal or uh, picking a big goal in your first time. You can think of small one first, but very specific. Remember, big successes start with little ones, okay? Write it down. Always put the goal, putting the goal on paper makes it official. Then, paste it on your wall, in your room, so you will see the moment you wake up in the morning. It reminds you that, oh, I haven't achieved my goal. I have to focus. I have to do it. I have to move forward, okay? Keep track every day this step is very important if we do not track of our daily progress we will fall short of our expectations everything we accomplish takes simple steps which can turn the goal into a habit number six you have to want it so if you pick your goal you really have to make sure that you want that goal in your life okay if we really want to do it it we it to do it we will surely succeed okay so make sure you want what you pick and schedule time we have to prioritize what is more important must use our time wisely then learn to say no for not important matters and also Example, your friends wants you to do something, but you think that, oh, it's not important. You can say no. Okay, I have things to do. Learn to say no if you think that it's not really uh, helping you. Okay, number eight is stop procrastinating. Number nine, be positive. Always think positive. And the lastly, the most importantly, pray about it. Okay, always remember that means gives ourselves a reward each time we have accomplished what we set out to do. Never ever doubt ourselves. Always practice positive thinking. Okay, most importantly, I said a while ago, pray about it because God listens. God's here everything as we pray every day and work towards the goal we come closer to success all right god has a special plan for every one of us a part of his plan is giving each person the ability to discover potentials and capabilities to improve and fully develop a wholesome personality so that would be all for today, grade 6. I hope you've learned something. I'll see you in our next class. See you and God bless. Bye!